In this video, I'm going to show you how to use format specifiers to print variables value. Right, so far we have structured our program really well. We know how to define variables, how to assign value to variables. And now this is the right time to print our variables value instead of this static value here. By the way, I saw one typo here is basically this is something I want to fix at this point. I wanted to say 32 years old. Great, lovely. Now let's learn about this format specifier here a little bit before even moving to the code. So format specifiers. So if you want to print any integer type value, then you have to use percent %d. And this is the format specifier that you need to use if you want to print anything integer type of variable. Percent %d basically refers to the decimal, or you can use also percent %i, which is going to refer to the integer, but most of the time we'll be using percent %d. If you want to print anything that is flow data type, then in this case, you have to use percent %f. Here, basically percent %f refers to the floating point number. If you have double data type, which is another one we discussed a little bit, you have to use person LF in this case, which basically means long float. And then if you want to print something which has character data type, then in this case, you have to use person C. So these are format specifier that we are discussing. If you want to print the variables integer type, you have to use person D. If you want to print some variable that is float type, you have to use person F and so on. That's how things are moving here. Now let me use this format specifier and print the values uh, that we have here. So first I want to print this age here instead of this 32. I want to print the value of age here. So if you want to print the value of variable, you have to use percent %d. Why? Because we are trying to print the integer type value here. And then after this double quotation, you are going to tell which variable it's going to refer. This person D, okay, it's going to print something integer, but from where? You have to define that after the double quotation and you are going to separate them with the comma. So here I'm going to say, I want to print age. Great, lovely. Same thing I have to do here because we, uh, we have just copied and pasted just to make things a little bit more useful later on to understand the need of variable. Here I'm going to use age again. Now, would you want to give a try for printing out the variables that you have here instead of this 4,000, maybe you wanted to print salary. So here I'm going to type 3,200 just to show you what, I, what do I want to mean. And same goes here, 3,200.50 and here 0.75 euros, same goes 0.75 euros. Now, what do I want? You can pause the video and you can give a try to print out the value of salary instead of the static value and same goes here and then you can go for this one as well instead of this a you want to print out the value of variable group and the last one is for the bonus here so give it a try take some moment here there is nothing wrong of trying and then you can come back and see how i'm going to do this All right, I think you have made it, but if you have not, don't worry. Let's give it a try together. Here, I want to print the value of the salary variable. So this is a floating point number. We have defined the data type as a float. So in this case, I have to use person F here. So let's do that. And then I'm going to print the value of the variable here. So this person F needs to know which variable basically you are referring. So I'm going to use the salary variable here. Same goes for the next one here that we have. So I'm going to use exactly the same thing. I'm going to do person F and then I'm going to print the variable salary here. Great job, well done. Now let's go for the next one, blood group A. Instead of this A, I wanted to print the variable group, which is basically character type. So in this case, I have to use person C here and then which variable we are referring with this person C, I have to mention it here. So I need to use group here. That's all. Same goes for this one as well. So I'm going to say person C and then group here. Lovely. What about the last one that we have? So in this case, let's look into this bonus. The data type for this bonus is float. So if you want to print out this one, you have to use person F. Let's do that person F and then I'm going to use here bonus. So I have to practice the same thing again. Let's do that here. I'm going to say person F and this person F is going to refer or going to print the very variable called bonus. That's all. 
So far so good and we can run this program to see what the output is going to look like this time. So I'm going to run the program here and you can see it's giving us everything that we expected here. Now both of them are in the same place, they look like th there is not enough space. So what I can do, I can add a new line here, anywhere, doesn't matter. So printing, before just before printing the age, I want to print a new line. Let's run this again and let's see how does it look like and now you have some separation. Now that's how you can print the variables with format specifier. I think you got the point. But now let's look into these things more closely. I told you earlier, when you store data inside a variable, it's very easy to manipulate data. For an example, now if I need to change the age of the employee, I can change in one place and this change will reflect here, here, doesn't matter how many places you are using this age, it will change everywhere. So you don't have to go manually and change everywhere, you will just change in one place. Okay, I think you got the idea here. So for an instance, if I do it here, I'll change the age 28. I can run this program and I can show you everywhere now that it's going to be 28. Great. Even if you want to make a change here after printing the first one, you can do that. So all the values that you have assigned, you can change them whenever you wish. So that's the benefit of variable. You can manipulate your things the way you want. So let's say this time I want to show the age is 30 for this person and the salary is 2200 for an instance. The blood group is B here for instance and then bonus is going to be 1000 here. Great, let me run this program and let me show you what happened this time. And you have two different data set this time. You can see that clearly here. So that's the benefit of variables here. Now the last thing I want to show you here is when you are printing the floating point number, you can see something is happening. After the decimal points, you are going for two digits here, five zero, but here it's showing the output as a six digit, which is the default one for floating point numbers whenever you are printing with person F. Well, we can control this default six decimal places. Here we can say person point two F. Now what basically this one is going to do for us, it will show only two decimal places after the decimal point. I can show you that one. Let me run this program. Now you can see there are two decimal places after this decimal point. Well, you can use 1F, you can use 3F, but remember you have to start like this dot, which is basically referring to the decimal point, and then how many places you want, you can refer it here. It's up to you. But remember, by default, it's going to be six decimal places. I want to make the same change here. I will say percent point 2F, that's all. I hope this format specifier things make sense and you are able to practice and you are able to declare your variables. You can initialize value and then you can print your values.